Hello, I'm Merritt Klein at the APA Research Lab in Tacoma. Over the years, APA has evaluated thousands of home construction issues, many of which have to do with wavy roofs and walls or uneven floors. In these cases, we often find that the problem is due in part to the improper installation of plywood or OSB sheathing. It takes almost no extra time to install plywood and OSB sheathing correctly, and doing so can help prevent costly and time-consuming callbacks after construction. So it's best to do it right the first time and save yourself potential headaches later. Today I'm joined in the APA lab by engineered wood specialist Bob Clark. Bob is going to tell us about one panel installation error that he encounters frequently. Well, thanks, Merritt. One mistake that I often see during the construction of floors, walls, and roofs is improper panel spacing, which can lead to buckling. But the good news is that this mistake can be easily avoided by following some simple panel spacing recommendations. To ensure best performance when installing plywood or OSB sheathing, APA recommends that you leave a 1 8 inch space between all panel edge and end joints unless otherwise recommended by the manufacturer. An easy way to determine proper spacing between panels is simply to place a 10 penny box nail between the panels. This will provide a 1 8 inch space every time with no need to measure. So why is panel spacing so important? Well, wood structural panels, which is your plywood and OSB, like all wood products, expand and contract with changes in moisture content. So when panels are tightly butted together, there's no room to accommodate this expansion. So to relieve the internal stresses, the panels may bow upward or downward between the supports. I can illustrate that with this piece of plywood in this one thin dime. I'm si simply going to place the plywood strip between these fixed blocks so that it's tight with no room for expansion. But as you can see, the plywood strip is lying flat. Now I'll simply place this thin dime between the panel and the fixed block. And you can see how much the panel bows upward. We call this buckling. And when a panel buckles, the siding materials, roof shingles, or floor covering will buckle with it. You can bet the homeowner will notice that. So make sure when you're working with plywood or OSB to space all joints one eighth of an inch. That will go a long way in satisfying the homeowner. To learn more, refer to the APA Builder Tip, Prevent Buckling with Proper Spacing. You can view or download APA Builder Tips at apawood.org forward slash builder tips. For additional engineered wood product information and support, visit apawood.org or call the APA Help Desk at 253-620-7400.